multiple treatment interference, right? Uh, it's exactly as it sounds. Uh, when, when you start an intervention for a particular behavior, let's, in a study, okay, let's, oftentimes if it's me talking, we're talking about an experiment, right? Anyway, so uh, in a study, if we're, we're trying to study the effects of a DRA schedule, differential reinforcement of alternative behavior, and we notice the behavior is changing, um, and hey, things are looking good. But then at the end of the study, you realize, oh my gosh, but I was also doing a DRI. Now you have an interference problem. You don't know if the DRA is what drove the behavior down or if it was the DRI that drove the behavior down. So if you want a quality experiment, uh, you use a quality experimental design, and you establish experimental control by manipulating only one variable. So in this case, you're manipulating two variables, or you're you know, delivering two variables, and you can't tease them apart. It becomes a confound. So we, we need to make sure that you isolate uh, the, the variable of interest and study its effects, not the combined effect of others.